James' his advice. After all, he does know the fellow firsthand. You're so indulgent! An exceptional child, and I would like to see her content. She's rejected so many suitors. Someone else must be found for her. Who? Anyone that isn't him. Yes, anyone. Do you think they mean that, miss? No, of course not, Hannah. You know my brother's hot head. And anyway, we can probably go in now. May we? Oh, if you must, miss. Hannah, none of my family would ever do me harm. I've seen terrible things between families, miss, when jealousy... Jealousy? Oh, I'm talking at a turn, miss. Let's go in. It was thought wise, dear Anna, that such a man of Mr. Lovelace's disposition should be deterred from his suit with courtesy. But my brother, having such antipathy towards the gentleman, took it upon himself to behave quite differently. She's not in. Mr. James Harlow, it's been so long, sir. I was hoping that I might see your sister. It was agreed yesterday, I believe, that I would visit again today. She will not see you. I thought you said she wasn't here to see me, sir. No, she's not. Well, which is it, sir? She won't see me or she's not here. Either way, you are not going to see my sister. Why? Are you her keeper? I'm her brother, sir. I will see her. You will not. You are not welcome here, sir, and you will leave. Certainly, when your sister Clarissa has told me to do so, not her brother. How dare you! You mean yeah. to fight me, sir? You mean to draw blood rather than letting me take tea with your sister? I do, sir. Please return your sword to its sheath. I have no desire to hurt you. You hurt me? James, put down your saber. Let me see your sister. I have no wish to make you an enemy. Draw your sword, Lovelace. As you wish. <laughs> On the ground, James Harlow, so quickly. You make it so easy for me. Now, let me in. Never! <laughs> Loveless! Hollow blood! It's a light cut. Get out! Get out! Uh, always the same. Always the same, Loveless. A villain and a murderer. It doesn't take long to pull that out of you, does it? Uh, kill me, then. Why should I kill you, sir? You're the brother of my beloved. Oh. I will not taint our union by running my sword through her brother's heart. Though with one slight movement, mm. I could... No, sir. I choose not to. And here, sir, take my hand and I will help you to your feet. Oh, I want nothing from you. Not even the generosity of sparing your life. Or is it the humiliation of your defeat that is so hard to endure? Yes. James Harlow. I remember you at college. I remember you for your heated temper and a man that did not know his limits. You will leave my sister alone. Will I? You will! You must excuse my modernity, but surely that decision should lie with your sister rather than her brother. But I have an appointment at my tailor's and an evening of entertainment to attend. And if you will not take my hand, then you must make your own way up from the ground. I will see you anon, Mr. Harlow, and look forward to that honour with pleasure and relish. Do give my very finest regards to your exceptional sister, Clarissa. Joseph. Joseph! Someone... Good God, you're bleeding. Never mind that, Joseph. Just help me up. James? Oh. Mama, something has happened to James. Oh. Mama! James! Are you all right, James? Hold on to my arm, sir. Mm. We'll walk back to the house. Thank you. No need to speak, sir. Just rest against me. You're a good servant, Joseph. The best of them. Don't speak, sir. Save your strength. You're bleeding, oh, James. You're bleeding. <sighs> Lean against us both. Walk slowly now. Walk slowly. <sighs> Mama! Mama, get Betty or Hannah. We must send for a doctor. He'll be all right, won't he, Joseph? Won't he, Joseph? Mama! Where is she? I don't think it's as bad as it looks, Miss. Well, it feels bad. Mama! It was Loveless, wasn't it, James? Loveless. He'll pay for this. Won't he, James? We'll see that he pays for this. Mama! And so, Anna, their mutual enmity was set. My brother is much recovered. Indeed, he was wounded only slightly, and a short fever followed, but he is, to the whole family's relief, much restored. As you have said, he has an imperious temper, and I fear launched himself at the unsuspecting Mr. Lovelace. Mr. Lovelace has, every day since morning and afternoon, visited to inquire after my brother's health, but my family are now utterly against him. I fear from the passion we have already witnessed he will not give up his suit so easily. My family have expressed concern that I have fixed and certain feelings towards him, none of which I believe I possess. 
Indeed, I would not be in love with him for all the world. For all the world, Clarissa Harlowe? Sound and sure advice, but perhaps too ardently expressed to satisfy me entirely. I have recently been in the company of Charlotte Montague, a very fine lady indeed, and as you know, she resides with Mr. Lovelace's uncle and aunt, Lord M. and Lady Betty. It appears that your effect on Mr. Lovelace has quite overwhelmed him. Though Charlotte told me a hundred wild tales concerning her cousin, a person willing to think favourably of him would hope that a brave, learned and diligent man cannot naturally be a bad man. But if he is guilty of even half of her stories, then he is certainly guilty of the inexcusable fault of being careless of his reputation. It is possible, of course, that such a man delights in infamy. Charlotte is, however, delighted that at this late stage he has discovered love. For from her accounts, that is what his feelings for you appear to be. Adieu, my dearest friend. Forgive me for my teasing. Knowing yet, never was there a heart that more glowed with friendly love than that of mine to yours. Anna. He is said to be very suitable. Do you think that colour right, Clary? Couldn't you have worn blue? You look so delightful in blue. Mr Lovelace. Now, Clary, we'll have none of Mr Lovelace. James's wound has only just healed. But you don't feel that James provoked him? Clary, it is much talked over. He's a... what is it? What did James call him? A liver. Yes, he's a, a liver. Mama. Or, or was it a kidney? No, no, it was a three-syllable word beginning with... Uh, beginning with... A liberty. Yes, a liver. A liber, a, a libertine. Yes, but then no one would tell me what it was. Do you know, Clary? I expect you do. Will you tell me? Well, Mama, it's an unfortunate no, expression. No, don't if it's going to upset me. Uh, uh, no, do. Well, Mama. No, don't. Do. Mama. Don't. If... No, don't. Oh, do. Uh, <clears throat> oh. May I present Mr. Soames? Lady Harlow? Miss Harlow? Sit down, Mr. Soames, please. Uh, 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 where? Uh, there's a seat next to my sister. Sit there, Mr. Soames. It will be an honour to sit so near such a lady. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Tea? Uh, tea, indeed. Sugar? Five. Five? Uh. Clary, would you like tea? Yes, thank you, Mama. Well, let me help you, Lady Harlow. Thank you. Miss Harlow? Thank you, Mr. Soames. James? Not for me, Mother. A biscuit, Mr. Soames. Biscuits, yes. Uh, how many? Three. Three. Thank you, Lady Holler. Clary? No, thank you, Mother. Clarissa, I mean, I mean, may I call you Clarissa? I already feel I know you so well. I, well... I, I have an extensive estate, you know. Do you? Not far from yours. Mine? Are the ones you've inherited. Oh, yes. I feel they are not quite mine until my cousin, Colonel Morden, returns from Italy to finalise all agreements. You must be pleased. Pleased? Yes, pleased, Clary. Aren't you pleased that you will soon be independent of us all and a lady of real means? Well, um, I, I didn't expect it. Oh, indeed, did you not? <laughs> it was wonderful of my dear and greatly missed grandfather, but perhaps a little unwise. I mean... A little unwise. I mean, it's a large legacy, and, well, I'm not sure why he left it to me as the youngest in the family. <laughs> James, do you mean to say something? Uh, only that Clary's chair is further from Mr Soames than it was at the beginning of tea. More biscuits? Oh, yes. <laughs> I've quite <laughs> finished them. Thank you, Lady Hollow. So kind. James, I haven't moved it at all. Now, for one, I'm very pleased that he left you his estate. And why would that be? Well, I, I thought... I mean, well, I'm here. I mean, I, th I thought it was a foregone conclusion. I, I mean, our estates are next to each other. Well, I... I well, could I have another of your wonderful biscuits, Lady Hollow? Of course. <laughs> that would be eight. Eight what? Biscuits. There's nothing wrong with a man with a good appetite, Clary. Mm. 